Do you do things to force people into an emotional experience? Definitely not. Um, all the times that I tell the truth to people, my motive is just to tell them the truth. I realise that telling somebody the truth does have the effect of emotionally opening them up. They emotionally uh, connect with the truth generally. And as a result of that, if, the, if it's a truth that is a part of their life and has been a part of their life from their childhood that's unreleased, then there'll always be some emotional experience as a result come up. Now, sometimes the emotional experience is anger, sometimes it's shame, sometimes it's guilt, sometimes it's grief. Um, it's preferable if it's grief, because obviously you get closer to the actual emotion that you felt as a child, but often people have to go through the layers of emotion before they hit that place. My only reason for telling a person the truth is because I can feel that is a truth they feel. And I'm voicing what they've always felt inside of themselves, but which they've never been able to feel free enough to express. And yet when they do express it, all of a sudden they connect emotionally and now they have an experience and this experience, it helps them see what the truth is, the truth that they actually do believe about their life or about their personal experience. Hmm. But do you, you never force people to uh, have an experience in your company? No, no. I, I often are very, I'm like a dog with a bone with the truth, definitely. Uh, but I, I know the power of the truth. The truth sets you free. And I believe that with my whole being. So the power of the truth is such that I, I would not ever avoid telling it. The, the issue is whether the person wants to receive it or not. Now, if a person is in my company, I assume they want to receive the truth. Um, if they're in my company and they don't want to receive the truth, then my suggestion is leave my company. That's okay, I'm okay with that. I'm always going to say the truth when a person's in my company. And most people who know me well enough now know that if they're with me at any point in time and in my company at any point in time, that at some point in time I'm going to raise the truth with them about how they're acting or how they've been or how, how, what they feel or what they're projecting at me or, or whatever. Obviously I do that because um, firstly, if they are projecting different emotions at me or they are having different feelings about me they're not voicing and I'm sensitive to them, I want to say the truth about that. And it's my right because I'm involved in their life in that moment to say that. I, I, I have the free will choice of course to, to suppress that as most people might choose to do but I don't choose to do that generally because I know the power of the truth. The power of the truth is always liberating. It always creates more freedom. And so that's why I'm so focused on telling people the truth when they're in my company. If a person, if I know a person does not want to hear the truth, then I won't generally share the truth with them. However, I probably also won't want to spend much time in their company. Mm -hmm. And so quite often people wonder why we don't spend much time in certain people's company. Well, most of the time it's because of their resistance to the truth. And, uh, and for that reason, I don't feel strongly attracted to spending the time with people who are very, very resistive or blocked to the truth or get angry or needy about the truth. I prefer to just have a conversation, a truthful and open conversation with somebody who's frank and honest and open, as frank and honest and open with me as I am with them. And that allows us then to get to know each other properly. It enables us to interact truthfully, but it also enables both of us to grow. Hmm. And you mentioned that you, you affirm for truth, but that's not necessarily uh, eliciting an emotional response in them, would you say? No, I'm firm for truth whether they have an emotional response mm -hmm. to it or not. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not trying to get an emotional response out of the person. I'm just firm for truth because I realise the power of the truth. Mm -hmm. I honour the power of the truth. I honour God's universe in that way. God's universe is all based around truth and love. And that's one way in which I honour that by actually stating truth and being loving as I'm stating the truth with every person that I meet. Mm.